Just feeling better, not a sore. You know, time heals, so uh, we'll see. Feel like you'll be able to play Sunday. We'll see. What were you able to do today at practice? I was out there. Uh, we'll see. When, uh, we've seen you wear the compression on the leg from time to time. What, what does that do for you as you're trying to nurse the calf? What's, what's, the, what's the process of happening? Just limit swelling. That's all it does. I felt good about it. You know, it came down to the to the red zone interception. Um, other than that, I thought I played really well. Uh, but when you have when you take points off the board like that, you you it's gonna be tough to win. So uh, you can't have those, uh, and that's that's the main takeaway. How important is it for you, Joe, to when you're out there on the field to be able to do everything you want to do as opposed to having a limited repertoire because you're nursing something? Yeah, you got to be able to adapt. That's Part of the game, you know, nobody's nobody's 100% healthy out there. Uh, everybody's dealing with something. You have to be a full participant in practice at all this week to, to play. Like, is that a goal for you that needs to happen, or are you okay without necessarily doing that? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that's the case. I feel good about where I'm at, and I feel good about uh, the progress I've made. Uh, I wouldn't say that needs to happen. How much is the extra day a, a factor here? Yeah, it's that's big. That's what uh, that's what gives you hope. What do you need to feel, or what do you need to be able to do, even if you don't practice full? What do you need to be able to do at practice throughout the next couple of days to feel confident going into such our Monday night? Uh, just f feel confident that I would be able to go out and do the job that I need to 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 help us win. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. How do you balance the you know big game on Monday versus you know long season? How do you, how do you balance those two things? As you yeah, that's um, that may not be my decision to make. Uh, my job is to go out and play. Uh, that's that's what I'm preparing to do. Have you have there been any conversations about just shutting it down for a few weeks and just giving it extra time to heal? I mean, what, how much has that kind of entered your, your mind? No, there haven't, there haven't been any discussions like that. We're kind of taking it day by day. So mindset wise, you're planning on playing Monday. Yeah, I'm, that's your goal. I'm preparing like I'm gonna go out and play a Monday night football game. Whether that happens, I don't know, but I'm going to be prepared to. How much of this coming back for you is going to be, whenever you come back, mental as much as physical, knowing that you don't want to retweak it, you don't want to have this and have that in your head as you're trying to play a game that requires you to do a lot of stuff? Yeah, I'm pretty good at compartmentalizing what what's important, and I think you know when you're out there, I'm not really thinking about it. Um, you think about it throughout the week. You think about how you can get better, but once you're out there, you're not really thinking about it. Y'all have not dropped three straight since 2020 as a rookie year. Why, why do you feel like y'all have been able to avoid losing that many games and able to bounce back after too many weeks? We just take it week by week. I think that's why we've been so good. Um, and if you're looking too far in the future or too far in the past, you're not going to be able to focus on the present. And I think that's what we've, we've done well. Um, that's what we're going to continue to do. We just got to be 1 0 this week. You've got to watch the Super Bowl, I guess, this week. Yeah, we, we I mean when you ever you play a a team that has the the same scheme as before, you know, obviously year to year changes and tweaks here and there, but you go back and watch it. What any any anything goes through your mind when you watch it? Yeah, you obviously wish you would have won. Anything stand out? Well they had really good players. I mean you see so did we. It's a lot of talent on that field. If y'all had if you if given kind of the record, does that play a role in how much It's in my head for sure. Um, I, I'm I'm thinking about it. Last year when you guys started on two weeks out of here, I think you said everybody relax, we're gonna be fine or something like that. How tough is it balancing the calf now along with the, the O and two and kind of navigating it? Yeah, it's it's obviously tough whenever you have an injury. Um, when you start O and two, that's obviously not ideal. Uh, but that's adversity of the season. That's the ups and downs of the year. Um, the teams that come out on top at the end of it, end of it are going to be the teams that handle that adversity the best. You can't let it snowball on you. That's what we've done in the past. 
And if you go back and look year to year at the teams that are still in it at the end, everybody has adversity at some point in the year. Everybody stinks at some point, according to the media. So we're just going to sit here and continue to get better. We're going to have good practices. We're going to take it week by week, and that's all you can do. What kind of support can you give Will and Jake, obviously? And how much confidence do you have in Jake, given how much you worked with him during the preseason? And if you can't go, you're going to take care of the job. Yeah, his Jake's prepared. Um, he's as prepared as I've ever seen him. He practices really hard, you know, prepares in the, in the film room really hard. Uh, so I, I have all, all the confidence in the world in him if, if I'm not able to go. You mentioned that not having your quarterback out there during training camp can sometimes lead to, like, communication issues or, you know, problems on the field early in the season. How do you go about making sure that if you're not out there on the practice field on a game week, but you do play on Monday night, that that's not going to be what happens? Staying engaged. Uh, making sure that I'm communicating with the guys the same as I would be if I was if I was out there practicing, uh, and I think I think you know we have veteran guys that uh, understand what it's going to take if I am out there without having a, a ton of practice. So uh, fortunately, we don't have a ton of new guys, and we have a lot of uh, a lot of reps under our belt in that way. You know, one of the things that this team has always taken pride in is guys find different ways to win maybe great quarterback play one one week great defense a special teams play how much does that kind of figure into your thinking that maybe it isn't all me all on my shoulders but we have a good team that can go out and win a game yeah we got a great team we're capable of winning any game that we play in and we expect to win every game that we play in uh, we got great talent in that room we got great talent up in the coaching staff uh, so I'm, I'm confident that if I'm not out there, we'll be able to get the job done. What makes Aaron Donald such a tough matchup? <laughs> All you got to do is go watch the tape, man. He's explosive. Uh, he's he's one of the best. So he's he's fun to watch on tape, not as fun to play against. Is there a part of you that also maybe wants to get back to play this game in particular, knowing that, you know, given what happened in the Super Bowl? I wouldn't say a certain game in particular. You, you want to be out there for every one of them. How important is it for Jamar to get going this week? Numbers-wise, I know. Yeah, I mean, Jamar, he's one of the most explosive players in the league. He's going to get his numbers eventually. Um, I think you can't go in there and try to force it. That's that's a recipe for, for not performing your best. I think you just got to let the game, the game come to you. Uh, he, he's going to get his chances just because of the player that he is. So um, he, he's going to continue to, to get targets and get catches and score touchdowns like he always has. The offensive line was great last week. You didn't have to move around much. When you face Aaron Donald, even if he doesn't sack you, chances are you're going to have to move. Do you need that ability against the Rams? Yeah, I mean, you need you need it in every game. You're not going to be able to just stand back there, and that's part of my game is moving around and making plays. Uh, and, you know, I think for the most part last Sunday, I was, I was doing a really good job of that. Uh, like you said, the offensive line played great. The pocket was firm. Uh, but when I had to move, I felt good about it. Did you make that one, you know, the last touchdown to T post cast screen cooking? And how were you able to make that play kind of be limited? I did, yeah. Um, just did it. I don't know. You know, you have, you're out there, you just try to find a way. So what did Teddy and Kappa, I mean, that's like the first thing they did after the Super Bowl, signed those two guys. What have they meant to you as a teammate? Yeah, they're, they're really the, the leaders of that room. They've been here the last two years. Uh, they think critically about what they think is best for O-line, and they think critically about technique. And I've learned a lot from those guys, just asking questions and watching tape with them and how they think. Uh, you learn a lot about O-line play and technique and how they feel and think about the game. Uh, they're two of the best at articulating it, which is uh, a nice, nice thing to have. Treatment-wise, has this week been any Hurt the calf. Obviously, it's in season. But is it about the same process behind the scenes? Are you getting treatment every day, or how does that? Work? Yeah, you're getting treatment every day. Uh, just trying to, to get that thing healthy, doing whatever you can to to get back out there. How hard is this mentally on you? Yeah, I mean, whenever you go through an injury, you you know, as a football player, as a professional athlete, your 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 worth, your uh, reputation is on your body and how you go out and perform and 
Uh, whenever you're you're injured or, or anything like that, it takes a toll on you. But uh, lean on your teammates, lean on your people that are close to you, and le lean on your hard work to, to get back out there. You mentioned your confidence in Jake. What, what impresses you most with how he handles himself behind the scenes? He's very even keeled. He's never too, too up or too down. I think that's how you have to be as a quarterback. Um, he's a big resource for me when I'm out there because I know that he's so even keeled. I know he, he sees the game similarly to, to how I do. Um, and so we have a great dialogue on game day. Uh, he's, if he's out there, he's going to do great. You've been asked several times about the Rams and Aaron Donald and the Super Bowl. When you see that game next on the schedule, do you look at it and think to yourself, Super Bowl rematch, like is that the first thing you think or is it something else? No, not really. I think, I mean, yeah, it's the first time we played them since then, but that was two years ago. Uh, they got different personnel. They've got new coaches. Uh, so do we. So uh, we're just trying to be one and know this week. You played through a lot of stuff in your life in the course of your career, having really missed a ton of games outside of your rookie year. When you're going through the checklist this week of what you need to do, what kind of did you, what are the boxes you need to have crossed off in order to say, okay, this is, I may not be 100% that I'm good? Yeah, you, you got to you gotta practice one day. Uh, maybe not full, but you got to be out there running around, throwing the ball. Uh, you just got to feel confident in, in your ability to go out and do the job. Uh, I don't, I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how we feel the next couple days. Um, I don't really have an answer for you there. You talked about getting treatment. Can you talk about what sort of treatment that you're getting? I have no idea what you do for that cat. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a, a litany of things. There's not any any one specific thing. You're getting soft tissue. You're doing all the modalities. You're doing contrast so you're doing everything that you possibly can to to speed up that healing process sleep and rest just as important as what you're doing in your that's most important you can't you can't recover if if you're not sleeping that's when your body uh, re recovers you know builds those proteins to help those muscles so if you're not sleeping as, as much as you possibly can and eating right then you're not going to be healing as fast as you can